The summer holidays are unfortunately coming to an end and GCSEs will also be creeping up. So here's my ultimate guide for the general tips, a plan and subject specific advice for year 11 so that you can get all eight in. And most students will start the revision so late that the load of the content will cause them a lot of stress, which results in worse grades. So what I want to do and what I recommend that you go over the content early in year 11, but not with the hardcore revision mindset, just like an hour every day after school and maybe two hours every weekend for most weeks in year 11, leading up to exam season, to which then you can level up the revision. And before you say, Abdullah, how am I gonna make a timetable for the whole of year 11? Well, you don't have to, because you can just use an app called Adapt, which is a free revision timetable app for GCSE students. How it works is it'll just ask you what subjects you take for your GCSEs, and then it'll assign you revision tasks for your chosen days of the week with subtopics of tasks for those subjects that you've chosen. I got recommended it by a friend, and I genuinely think it'll help you a lot in year 11 because you want to start going over the content early, so then it gives you an advantage into exam season. I'll leave a link in the description for it, and this video is not sponsored. It will really help you out. So sometime in November to December, we'll be having mocks in year 11 and you need to take those seriously because that's the only opportunity you get before your real GCSEs. Revising for them properly will give you real benefits. And it's not just the experience of having done GCSE papers. It's also the fact that after December, you're going to be able to prioritize your revision time to subjects that you did worst at. That means you're not wasting any of your time approaching May. And also during this time, you can also find your perfect revision routine. So which subjects you want to start revising for first and how long you can revise for until you burn out. Now I'll be moving on to subject specific advice because for most of these subjects I have done quite well. So for maths, past papers and practice questions is the only way to improve because it's one of those subjects that follows the practice makes perfect principle and try to do the past papers in exam conditions and for the questions that you get wrong just watch videos on YouTube for solutions. Some good channels I would recommend are Corbett Maths and GCSE Maths Tutor. So science is one of those subjects which requires you to memorize certain parts of the information and it also requires you to understand other parts of the information really well because you are asked to apply that knowledge to practical scenarios. So the method I've been using to revise for sciences, which has been working really well for me, is to first watch a Cognito video on the topic to understand the concept, then memorize the key points from the CGP revision guide. And once I've done this for every single topic, then I move on to practice questions and even full pass papers if it's for NDBA exams. Now, I'll be honest, English is definitely not my strong subject, but I am heading to improve at it and can give you some basic advice. For example, for English language, ordering your vocabulary will be really important to gain higher marks. And you can do this by either individually learning the synonyms for the common words that you use in your essays or just reading. Obviously, exam practice is crucial for literature and language. So practicing essays would be important for you in year 11. And you can start without doing it in test conditions. Just try to finish it up to a good standard get someone like a teacher to give you feedback so then you can improve on it obviously as you head closer to exam season you can start doing those essays in exam conditions finally languages so i take french for gcse's and what i found to be the most important factor again eight or nine in your writing exam is having a good vocabulary and a solid foundation in your tenses just learn your tenses first and practice a few sentences with them and then try to learn as much vocabulary as possible, which I think shouldn't be a last minute task. But if you want to learn those complex phrases for your essay, then I think that's fine if you do it last minute as well. I haven't done any speaking exams, so I will make a separate video on that later this year. And that's everything I have for you to kickstart the 11. Be sure to subscribe if you like this video. Also subscribe because I will be making another video similar to this about mocks later this year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.